almost every every piece of Beethoven has this uh, look into the future. I would say that main point is that these transformations of main two themes of first moment it's really unbelievable. Uh, very typical was for Beethoven that one theme has many characters, but second theme, for example, is very lyrical or other way around. But that both both themes are has potential to be to represent almost all music characters. This is this is very new and very unique. And with Concerto Number no. Five, of course, it, it, this is absolutely so. Like Concerto Number no. Four, beginning of the concerto, both parts, orchestra and piano, are together. In Concerto Number no. Four, the piano starts, and then orchestra plays the answer, and then the exposition. In Number no. Five, they are almost immediately together. There is a big, brilliant cadence. that cadence of very triumphant character and uh, very brilliant. We have the main theme of first movement. The main motif is actually from two small parts. One part is this is already in this very short motif we have main theme and main main uh, base for, for the first movement. unbelievable constructor of the music and interesting this construction just makes the emotional force of his music much stronger so it's not opposite it is going same direction as a natural natural feeling he was real creator of modern sonat form and we always we have the second theme and uh, second team uh, and uh, transformation of that team is even more impressive than transformations of first team, uh, which uh, happens immediately. So uh, second team is in minor key when orchestra plays its uh, E flat minor. comes uh, same music in major in major so uh, it's immediately uh, he gives immediately uh, unbelievable contrast between minor and major uh, which probably for for that time was quite revolutionary both main themes they they are ready to represent almost all which we have in Beethoven music but what happening in the coda after the cadence is probably one of the greatest miracle in the music. Uh, so we have very, very short cadenza. If we call cadenza what the only piano, what the only solo is placed, so it's, it's just 
half minutes. <laughs> sad character, most triste character of the whole first movement. And here come, come the horns with same theme in major. I think it's one of the beautifulest moment in whole music of Beethoven. Probably is the longest movement of all Beethoven concerti and certainly one of the greatest. This, this moment is also connected with with main theme so uh, so this small part of the choral this sequence is is here. This music is so beautiful that it's quite difficult to, to speak about it. Ending of second movement uh, leads to the final with just a theme of finale coming in a very, very soft and very slow way. and then he is awake and he really creates. One of most brilliant, brilliant music ever written. It's apophers of dance, uh, apophers of joy. So this is completely different theme of joy as will be future in Ninth Symphony. Here is really everything uh, for the dance, for, for joy, for light. So we hardly have any minor, everything in, in major, even if he search for so many different keys in the middle, so so he come to C major. D 
then he comes to A flat. And then he comes to E, uh, e major, which I already mentioned is a tonality of very high spheres. Just will be very, very, very short moment of some bars of E minor key. So probably this is the rare example when minor key almost does not exist in the music of Beethoven. So uh, final is uh, in Ronda sonat form is very triumphant music. It doesn't have such uh, philosophical depths and such different characters of one element as it was in the first movement. But the force of the music is so strong that you will immediately recognize the first theme from first first time. This is one of the famous, most famous theme of Beethoven, which I repeat again, a little bit connected with <laughs> main theme of first move. This is one of basic element of music, but still certainly Beethoven did it very logically and uh, there is some connection. The ending of the concert, there is some moment of lyrics actually in the end of con concert when from this dance at the end comes this more warm and intimate feeling, something like... <laughs> the ending is very triumphant, uh, very bright and so, so finish is probably the most sunny, sunny work, most brilliant work of Ludwig van Beethoven. Mm -hmm.